Hello everybody, Marfin 110 here, and we are about to continue our adventure. Well, obviously, but it's going to be a very special episode, at least, I hope. We're going to be getting a lot of stuff done here. Um, actually, I think I have to go to the back. Yeah, that, uh, that's what I have to do. And before I do that, I want to check something quick. Okay, I got that one. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, let's speed up the process here. Wow. It's been a long time since, uh... Since we've, you know, been here, right? Is there a panel? Yes, there is. <laughs> Stand back, Yoshi. Or should I say, motherfucker with a ten heart. Alright. Now we can continue. I thought I missed another one somewhere. Whoa! Oh! What these days? Hey, look! The clerk's up here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's going on here? At last, my dreams will come true. I'm gonna open my very own shop on Keelhole Key. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle. It'll be mine. I just have one slight worry. Keelhole Key is a deserted, cursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? <laughs> Probably not. Well, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Ah, yes. So it is you. Uh, well, certainly a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. <laughs> She's a fine vessel, no? She's the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my, uh, ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she's not just beauty. She's a savage beast on the water. Tops among sailboats. But above all, I, I, I tell you, this proud ship can... Uh... Uh, yes, uh, did you speak? Uh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, the, the problem that uh, sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off, the dog. Whoa! Speaking of dogs, uh, my text tone. And it turns out my quiet camera is going to run out of battery here, so we're just going to charge this as I record. Perfect. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, sweet. Alright. Mom's just texting me right now. Because we're going to be doing something that's very, 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 very important to this channel. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to be very special. Okay. The, uh, the Navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhaul Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for a Navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oi, bloody you. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. <laughs> Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve a problem? Then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, uh, uh, no, no, a legendary s sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Barbary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helms uh, helmsman's not to touch, sir. He can make any ship out to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul who would have seen him on the seas of late. A boom! <laughs> Problem solved. Let us scatter on this Barbary fellow and get him on board. Huh. As it is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye sir. Aye, aye. Sounds fair, sir. <laughs> Good plan. I'm on board. Good plan, huh? <laughs> then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. All right. Huh. Our fortune sails. <laughs> sails. <laughs> Uh, anyways, is there some back here? Oh no, there is not. Not at all. Looks like there was a gap. Well, there is, but there's nothing to investigate, I guess. So, we are going to be uh, finding this Admiral Bobbery, yeah? That good? 
And what's interesting is, there's like, barely any hints. Like, I don't know, this puzzle, if you can call it that, seems a bit, um, what's the word that starts with C, and it's very, very hard to figure out? Uh, yeah, there's a word that I'm trying to remember. Like, I don't know, maybe obtuse can describe it? Nah, no stories. Oh well. I'll figure it out soon. Maybe, I'll, I'll put in maybe an annotation in there just to, you know, tell what it is. What do you blocks want? Oh! You seek out more blabbery. Never heard of the gent. Take your search elsewhere. No, away with you. Oh. You unlock the door. You know what? I'm gonna go back here for ha ha ha! Shine the sprite! Seems pretty fitting for a room like this, huh? But yeah, there's a. There's another, um. You know. Another shine sprite for us. Anyways, I guess that's it. I'll be seeing you soon. Alright, damn. I still can't figure that word out by the life of me. Oh well. I'll have it in an annotation, I'm sure, but by now. Huh? But this part of the game, like, figuring it out is just... Yeah, it's just not... There, like, there's no hints really telling you what to do. Admiral Barbary, yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's it. But I think both you and he would be better off if you just let him be. What? Uh... Well, I'm gonna go back. Let's see what he has to say now, huh? What do you have to say, Admiral? Well, he, he unlocked the door, so that's the cool thing. No! We're not supposed to be seeing this until, like, friggin', you know, like friggin', the end of the game. Admiral Bobbery, I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Hey, drop the axe, Superstash! We've already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Huh, <laughs> what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? Oh! You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? <laughs> so sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But, that's just not cool. Y you want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to kill Hulky. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Damn. This ain't looking so good. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. Hmm. I can't figure this guy out. What's this beef with the ocean anyways? You know what we ought to do? Find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Okay. Now we can go talk to him a second time. Or now. That's what you're supposed to do. Talk to him and then talk to him again. Okay, no, no. The word is not complicated. Cryptic! That's it! The puzzle... Uh, uh, no, this this part of the game seems cryptic. There. That's the word. Now I can continue. You say Bobby won't go into the sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobby back on the water? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, is that it? Well, now I see. You want to mount an, ex an expedition to kill Hal Key. Uh, rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. <sighs> well, well, the fact of the matter is, Abba Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying. But I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Yes! In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Probably was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. 
Now, Bobby was a renowned sailor, so he was away for long. Uh, he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobby's return. And Bobby, his eye never drifted. He truly loved. Uh, he loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived, and found happiness where they could. And all was good, for a time. Uh, but, but not all good things can last. Yep, that's true. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Barbary, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Barbary, of course, blamed himself. My wife... My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to help. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Here we go. <clears throat> have this. You got an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to, to Bobbery on her deathbed. Oh, shit! On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as, a, as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was his last request. Ho ho! So that may actually do it then. But when I saw Bowbray in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I have regretted it ever since. Yeah, true. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bowbray. Listen, Podley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Okay. Well, let's bring this letter back. I'm sure it'll do something. Seriously, like, to know like, that there are words that she spoke without him knowing about it. It's like, hey, what the hell is this? I wasn't aware about the last words she wrote. I want to see. What? Oh, my Blobberton's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. No way with you. Here. Oh, pardon. A letter, you say? For, for me? <laughs> what? Scarlet! This is Scarlet Tan we're in! Uh, Scarlet, my love. My love, if you are reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate is stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must pa have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my love was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea. As you are one with me. A thousand pardons. But may I have a moment alone, if you please? Hmm. Oh boy. Uh. <sighs> yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keelhole Key? Yes. <sighs> if you think an old sea bum like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, yes! Okay. Oh, it's low, yes. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? Well, I must inspect her before we leave. I, I shall meet you there. 
Oh, darn, I want to figure out if you can actually press X to use him for a, an attack. Before, like, he leaves. Oh, wow. Footprints here to tell you that you can go through there. I don't think I've ever noticed that, to be honest. Alright. Well, as soon as this part's done... Well. Oh, what is going on here? I don't want to read. But yeah, as soon as this episode's done, I'm actually going out, you know, to do something. My mom and I are going to do something, and yeah, her, her and I are going to go out. Something is going to benefit this channel. Oh boy. Just saying. When this part's done. Hi Mario, how are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad about my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever come back... Well, well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Petuni. Ah, that's cute. Is, is that an egg? Hmm. Yeah, so I haven't read other messages. I guess that time it was... better. I don't know. I like Petuni a lot, so I guess that is why. Can't do that when you're going down or up. Only right and left. Or, yeah. All right. Ah, the smell of the sea. I've forgotten how sweet a scent it can be. Hey, <laughs> you rhymed, man. I knew you'd get Bobby on board, you wonderful mustache man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can part at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Ah. Uh, well. There's one thing you can do with Bobbery as a side quest, but since we can't use, use him right now, we're going to have to shove off. Very well. To the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. Oh, there's plenty of that already. And romance. And money. Our destination is Dread Kill Hall K. Wait up. Here we go. Normally I'd start this next time. But I've half, I've half asked it. I've half asked it a lot. Whoa. What the heck? There's nothing there. It's just a diorama. <sighs> this is X not one year. Come back, dude. I repeat. X not one year. Over. Roger, reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X, X not black aboard vessel. Repeat. X not black is on board the vessel. Yep. Looks like we saw Lord Crump. But anyways. Chapter 5. The Key to Pirates. What the heck? These these titles for the chapters aren't really that good, other than for Pigs of the Bell Tolls. That's alright. Month something, day something. Over the protest of my crew, Des is Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ha! I must scuff. Oh, crap! Darn it, the phone's ringing. Be right back! <laughs> 